if I'm do if I'm doing a fancy draft man style, he might be the second guy that goes in that draft because you're taking into account age potential, all that thing as well too. This is very eerily similar when Patrick Mahomes came out. Just take away the Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, and all like everything that was already built there pre. But a lot of the same plays, the throws, everything we're seeing from him are very similar. We saw from early Patty. We're talking about the Chargers and the Chiefs, but more specifically, Justin Herbert, the young superstar quarterback from Oregon that all draft experts, quote unquote, tried to say that he was going to be a bust and he was the guy to look out for. You don't want him to play. Well, the last two weeks, you can see the stats on the screen. 74 and a half, 74 and a quarter percent completion percent, 600 yards, six touchdowns to only one interception on a deep pass that bounced off of the receiver's hands as well, too. And that's just the start of it as well, too. We look at his entire season so far. He is looking at 67 percent completion, 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns to 11 interceptions, 72 yard long. And he's only fumbled one time. And that was while passing rushing. He's ran into touchdowns has 23 rushing first downs. This dude has been absolutely sensational this year. I know the Chargers are very Jekyll and Hyde, and they piss a lot of people off because right when you think they're good, they start to struggle a little bit. He's had a few moments of inconsistencies. The Patriots game, the, the Broncos game, they were really rough. But if we were to, if they did a Madden NFL fantasy draft, you put all the players in a pool and you can start drafting him. Patrick Mahomes is still probably going number one when you factor in age and everything. I'd be hard-pressed not to say Justin Herbert's not going number two. In back-to-back weeks, one of them, me and you got to see in person because we got we were lucky enough to attend his game against the Bengals. In back-to-back weeks, he might have had throws of the year. Like that one against the Bengals rolls out to his right, throws a throws it across body, and I think it was, we we did the math. There's about a 60 in the yards in the air, 55 yards in the air or so. Yeah, 65 yards in the air. And then and he, across the field, 50 yards. And what does he do this time? Almost the exact same play, but 68 yards down the field at the end of the half while getting blasted by the backside, backside defensive end and lets it rip down the field to Guyton with it. This is with an injured Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, who's out with protocol calls as well, too. This kid is absolutely sensational. And he's, I stand, I think he's fourth in passing yards right now. And he still hasn't, he's played what, 20, 20 something games, 25 games, something like that, not even two full seasons. This kid's unbelievable, continuing to get better. It, the the Tim Riggins look is absolutely working for him. He looks absolutely sensational. And I mean, you could you could jump in off this one if you want to. But if I'm do if I'm doing a fancy draft man style, he might be the second guy that goes in that draft because you're taking into account age, potential, all that thing as well too. This is very eerily similar when Patrick Mahomes came out. Just take away the Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, and all like everything that was already built there pre. But a lot of the same plays, the throws, everything we're seeing from him are very similar. We saw from early Patty. Yeah, I mean, really, I definitely, I don't know if I take him top two, but I definitely take him top five without a doubt in my mind. Um, and that's just personal preference. Like, I, I have Lamar ahead of him personally, and, and Josh Allen and him I kind of have on even footing right now. Uh, Joe Burrow is right there as well in that conversation. So that's, it gets a little little mixed up as, as far as their Dak is in that conversation as well. Um, which, yes, I'm admitting to the fact that I think Dak is a top five potential, like, franchise quarterback. Kyler Murray's um, but, up there as well, too. Yeah, and I mean, there's there's guys out that are up there. Like Kyler, yeah, and and so it's just down to preference at that time. I think I still give Lamar the nod at number one, just MVP and everything else he's done already in his career, and he just continues to get better. But Justin Herbert, I mean, I I, I do think he's good. He's I hate to say he's part of a trio that we saw w- with a previous you know Chargers quarterback where you had Tom Brady, you had Peyton Manning, and then you had Philip Rivers right here. Just doing his thing, do- dominating a whole bunch of teams in the league, except for the other two. And and we, I, you mentioned he just kind of struggles every once in a while, and it's just like team at Chargers, like do better. I want to see you guys get over the hump. I want to see Justin Herbert take that next step and kind of prove that he is that dude. And when he does that, I'll happily say I'll take him number one in, in that little fantasy recap. <laughs>